Why wouldn't you join Inspire? Why wouldn't you want to create a more fair and supportive workplace environment for anyone? What I believe I've got the opportunity to do now is to try and influence more broadly us to make rail more accessible to a different generation, a younger generation, or bring in people with different backgrounds and different skill sets. So over the next 10 years, I think for me, it's about trying to inspire the next generation. You can't do that on your own. So some of the biggest issues in gender equality are facilities and making sure that we've got appropriate trackside facilities. The number of different roles that there are available to people is huge. And so there is definitely a role for everybody here. And so it's about making that really clear and really visible. We really, really need to focus on STEM and encouraging young people to um, go into science, technology, engineering, math subjects. Encourage people to think differently in their recruitment processes, how they uh, attract people for roles, how they make people feel supported when they are here. The proportion of females in the workplace in certain areas, particularly our front line, is very, very low. Not everybody feels that they are able to work work flexibly or have the opportunity to work flexibly and I think we really need to find ways for people to do that in all roles here in Network Rail and across the wider rail industry. I mean the ideal is you don't even talk about it anymore.